coming up next. As Tyrod Taylor leads the Bills offense out onto the field as a starter here at home, record of 13 and 6. Third season with the Bills. Spent four years backing up Joe Flacco in Baltimore. LaShawn McCoy, seventh in the NFL, and rushing in the backfield as Taylor swings it out. It was deflected. McCoy able to make the catch after Alex Okafor got a piece of it. McCoy back to the line of scrimmage. It will be second and ten for the Bills, who are without their left tackle, Cordy Glenn, so Deion Dawkins makes his fourth start. These guys are going to have to play better up front for me, Kenny. They've got a great runner, a guy you can't miss in space, and LaShawn McCoy, love to see him get the, get the ball in his hands early. Saw a screen pass. Kelvin Benjamin lined up at the top of your screen, one-on-one. -on -one. That'll be a matchup to follow all day long. There's Benjamin in his Bills debut, his first reception. Former Carolina Panther facing the Saints for the second time this season. Picks up nine and a huge ovation from the crowd. Uh, of course, they love to see Tyrod get the ball into their, their big wide receiver's hands. I'm looking at the Saints defense, though. Cam Jordan, the leader of this unit. To me, Kenny, he might be one of the best all-around DNs in football as far as rush pass. He'll have his hands... Full today, and on the back end of the Saints defense, some young corners. Keep an eye on Marshawn Lattimore and Kent Crawley. On the toss, here's McCoy. Picks up a first down and more. LaShawn McCoy still going. Finally tackled at the Saints 30-yard line. Uh, you know, you can, you can only hope to contain him. You know, he's one of the best backs in the league. And just, you know, you just got to have an edge and, you know, you know, just when you're trying to make a tackle, you make a tackle. And... Like, live for the next play and just get off the field on third down. To deal with, he goes right past the defense, Alex Okafor there, and into the secondary. Big game for Buffalo. Now with three tight ends, the toss to Mike Tolbert. But he's hit for a loss back at the 33-yard line by Von Bell. Sean McCoy got a little shaken up at the end of that last football play. I don't think he'll be out of this game long, but Kenny, you get down into the red zone fringe. Tyrod Taylor, you got to imagine they use their new guy here, and that looks right on his ankle, the tackle. He's staying on the sideline, though. I think he's okay. So Tolbert remains in. Lost two yards on the previous play. And now Taylor takes off. Tyrod Taylor spins inside the 20. Down at the 19-yard line, tackled by Marcus Williams as Taylor picks up 13, another Buffalo first down. They do a good job here undressing the defense. You put a guy in motion, so you know that they're in man-to-man -man coverage. Look at the middle of the field, it's wide open, it's vacated, and this is a design run. I don't know that Tyrod Taylor ever had an intention to pass that ball, gets one-on-one -on -one with the safety, and really give credit to Marcus Williams there, the rookie safety him on the ground. That's a tough tackle. McCoy back in. Takes the handoff from Taylor. Buffalo Bills off to a terrific start, Rondé. But this season, over their first eight games, they have not scored a touchdown in the first quarter. That's unbelievable, right? Team that's got five wins on the season and can't get the ball down here early. And I think one of the impetuses for going and getting Kelvin Benjamin is get down in the red zone like they are now. Give your quarterback a big option down at the bottom of the screen. One-on-one -on -one with Kent Crawley. Looks like a lot of space over there. Taylor looking for Benjamin in the end zone. Did not connect. Well, you got a 6-5 wide receiver. All you really have to do if you're Tyrod Taylor is keep this ball in the field of play. Kent Crawley's going to be outmatched here. I mean, he can look back for the ball, but the wingspan, the catch radius of, of Benjamin is so much more than anybody on this Saints defense. This ball stays in bounds. Your big receiver chance to make a spectacular catch. Benjamin at six foot five, four inches taller than Crawley. Third down and nine from the Saints, 18. As Taylor throws off the hand of Benjamin. 
with Crawley defending, and the Bills will send out the field goal unit. You've got to reduce splits. So you have all that room to the sideline, and again, this ball just a little bit behind your receiver. Tyrod knows he's got to make a better throw. So here's Steven Hauschka out to attempt a 37-yard field goal from the right hash. Fulton Smith will place it down. Hauschka from 37. This kick is good. So the right-handed Drew Brees and the Saints will start from the 25-yard line to look at Drew's numbers over the six-game win streak. Yeah, just fantastic. The completion percentage numbers are outstanding, and we know that they like to push the ball down the field at times, but Drew Brees has found a way, I think, to get even better this year than I've seen him in the past, not taking those shots down the field. Taking what's available, getting the ball to his runner. He has been outstanding. Now in his 12th season with the Saints, Brandon Coleman in motion, Mark Ingram in the backfield. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Quick release and a first down out to the 37-yard line. It's Michael Thomas. Yeah, you know, they've had a lot of bodies interchanged along the front line today, but this is the original starting unit. But to me, Kenny, this game's all about Mark Ingram as a runner. Just stepped out. Alvin Kamara comes in to the backfield. The complement of those two guys has been fantastic here the past month. And this is Kamara, the rookie. And he gains nine. Close to another first down out to the 47-yard line. Kyle Williams made the tackle as we check out the Bills' defensive unit. Good players on this unit. And I really like the two guys on the back end of the defense, Micah Hyde and Jordan Poirier, the two safeties. And today, for me, those are the two guys that have to have big days. They're opportunistic around the football. Poirier, you'll see him in the line of scrimmage, covering down, blitzing. Uh, this is a fantastic matchup for this young secondary. Hyde with five interceptions, second in the league, as Ingram picks up the first down into Bill's territory. It's Hyde who makes the tackle as Ingram gains 14. This is just a direct run. I mean, a lot of movement going on up front. You'll see the offensive line, but gap run scheme. You need a guard or center to come up to the second level. They get it onto the linebacker. Pop, marking him into the second level. Two big runs to start this game already for the Saints offense. Saints averaging 12 yards over their first three plays. Get this area. You're on the road. Don't be surprised if they take a shot. Look at Ted Ginn at the bottom of your screen. On the 39, on first down. Breeze, is thinking about taking that shot. Could not find an open receiver. And then he throws it out of bounds. Second and 10, coming up for New Orleans. We'll look at where the Saints offense ranks over their 6-2 and two start. And you might wonder about that number right there. Second, fourth lowest possessions in the league, yet they're scoring so many points. I just think they're more methodical, they're more efficient. Not always looking to quick strike you. It's really benefited them in the last six weeks of the season. Right, that was the total number of possessions. They are fifth in time of possession, so longer drives for the Saints than what we've been used to watching. Over the past decade under Sean Payton, as Ted Ginn Jr. makes the catch down at the 36-yard line. So third down and seven, with the crowd rising as one. Bunch formation to the left, three wide receivers. Thomas Ginn and Sneed. Out of the backfield, it's Kamara. And Alvin Kamara looks to be just short. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. So what will Sean Payton do on fourth and one? I bet she keeps his offense out here. And these are some of the problems. If you're a Bills fan, it reminds you last week against the Jets, tackling problems, keeping leverage on the football. They almost give Alvin Kamara a first, a Kamara, I'm sorry, a first down here. 
with three or four missed tackles. The Saints offense stays out on the field. Fourth at about a half yard. Play clock winding down. And a timeout is taken by the Saints. First, first time. First possession of the game for Sean Payton. Saints. So what do you think, Kenny? Is the smoke and mirrors here to bring their offense out on the field? They're actually going to go for it or just... I think they will because they already took that time out and then they sent the offense back out. Ingram in the backfield. Now Ginn shifts it to the backfield. It's Ingram inside the 20, stays on his feet and is finally tackled at the five yard line by Jordan Poyer. So Ingram needed a yard, Rondé, and he gained 25. Look at the gap, the run through here. It's huge. Then you get a missed tackle by Ramon Humber. Micah Hyde's not able to bring him down. And this Saints offense, Kenny, everybody thinks of them as an explosive passing offense. I put the film on the past two or three weeks, and they are running the ball with authority. Mark Ingram there, Alvin Kamara earlier. That's going to be the challenge for the Buffalo Bills defense. Seventh in the league in rushing by the Saints this season. As Ingram is still on his feet. What a push. And he's finally down at the two. He said hit the push. The whole team's pushing. Now you can't pull him into the end zone, but you get as many bodies as you want behind him and try to push him through there. <laughs> also, all those offensive linemen. Pete, Ramchek, Unger, ball goes by him. They still stay in the play. I love that. Now the Saints send in an extra blocker and Josh Lariba, 61, and three tight ends. Second and goal. Breeze looking at zone. He throws. There is a flag. Pass intended for Michael Hall, Matawanui. Pass interference. Defense number 52. Foul occurred in the end zone. The ball we placed at the one yard line. Automatic first down. That's on Preston Brown. Terry McCauley, our referee today. Well, Preston Brown's going to be in a tough spot here. Here's Hawa Adamanui right there at the end of the line of scrimmage. And he just panics. He doesn't play through the football. It's an easy call for that back judge to make. But how about the personnel changes? Versatility to put three tight ends out on the field, off extra Where? offensive linemen as a blocker, and then throw the football. First and goal. Into the end zone, it's Mark Ingram for a Saints touchdown. Oh, he got a great lead block. Mark Ingram there did by Zach Lyon. Got splashed. <laughs> Wrong place to be. <laughs> I want you to watch Zach Lyon. He's going to come into your screen here off the right side. You see the puller in Andrews Pete. Zach Lyon's going to. Clear the road, get Leonard Johnson out of the way, and just an easy walk-in touchdown for Mark Ingram. Terrific field position for the Saints. Their offensive line has done a terrific job this year. They've suffered through some injuries. Ron Armstead and Larry Wofford. Questionable this week, both in the starting lineup. Yeah, and, and I got to tell you, Ryan Ramchek, when I saw him early in the football season, I wasn't sure how ready he was to play. He's been outstanding at right tackle, and Andrews Pete. Kenny, his versatility to play inside, play outside with Armstead been out. They have, put, they have pieced together a good unit here, and they've done very well all season. Max Unger, the anchor in the middle. Breeze complete to Thomas for a Saints first down. Gain of 11. Drew Breeze has been sacked, Rondé, only eight times all season over the first eight games. That's the fewest in the entire league. Oh, Drew Breeze doesn't take sacks, first of all. But yes, they've been clean, keeping him clean, and you know, the, the number of combinations. I mean, Senio Calamete, Mete, I mentioned that Drew Breezy lap. I said he's your sixth man of the year, as many positions as he's had to play. But, yeah, they've been very good, been taking care of their quarterback and opening lanes for their runners. From the 44, it's Ingram up the middle. Now, when you mentioned that to Breeze about Calamete, he said, I like that. I might steal that from you. <laughs> he can have it. it was, I, I got to tell you, he's, uh, he's a very valuable piece to this offense. And, Mentioned Max Unger. I, I love how he plays inside. They talk about his value and keeping this unit together with his experience and just the way that he plays. This 
a good football team. There's there's no flukes when you win six games in a row in the NFL, Kenny. Under's the only one that started every game at the same position up front for the Saints this year. Uh, second and seven, it's Thomas. That's his third catch today to the Bills. 37, it will be third down and three. I tell you, Drew Brees does such a good job identifying what's going on on the other side of the football. He just picked up and threw that football. That was going to be a run play. He said, you know what? Their corners are bailing. I'm going to throw it here. I'm going to set up a third and four. It's a big time opportunity for this Bills defense. They need to get off the field here. Empty backfield for the Saints. They must get to the 34 for a first down. Both the tie to the snap. Neutral zone infraction, defense number 50. Five yard penalty, first down. That's on the former scene. He spent six years in New Orleans, Ramon Humber. Oh, he was he just trying to bait him into the line of scrimmage. Just 50 right here, Ramon Humber. And you, know, you could do all that jumping around, but as soon as you get inside that neutral area right there and an offensive lineman reacts, it's encroachment. Easy first down for the Saints. From the Bills, 33. Ingram in the backfield. Sneed in motion. Breeze, quick release, and it is nearly picked off. Shaq Lawson. Yeah. <laughs> Same play that you saw earlier. It's a run play. But Drew Brees sees something. He thinks he's going to get up and just dump the ball off to Brandon Coleman. This is a great reaction by number 90. And if Ramon Humber is just a second earlier, you got a takeaway. Those are the opportunities that this Bills defense has capitalized on all season long. They missed from there. Matthew Batfield once again, second down and 10. Breeze moving to his right. He throws, and that is incomplete. Great to see the pregame show coming from Norfolk, Virginia, as well as Fox NFL kickoff. Second down and 10. Thomas will not get there. There is a flag on third and 10. Thomas down at the 29, and we'll check with Terry McCauley. Personal foul, grasping face mask, defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Oh, this is a shame, too, because the Bills were getting ready to get off the football field, and that's clearly a face mask. They had rallied to... Stop Thomas there, but another penalty, second penalty on this drive, converting first down for the New Orleans Saints. Right, first Humber, and then Lorenzo Alexander. It's the fourth Bills penalty overall. But as you mentioned, Rondé, two on this drive have given the Saints an automatic first down. And those are tough. Going into a tackle, you're coming off a block. You're not trying to grab his face mask, but you still have to be cognizant around the helmet. So a new set of downs from the 14-yard line. It's Ingram. Mark Ingram gains five down to the Bills' nine with just over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. And there's been a lot of talk in New Orleans nationwide about the way Alvin Kamara has come onto the scene. But when I put, when I look at the New Orleans Saints, and when you ask them, it's all, it's still about Mark Ingram. He is their all-purpose yards leader. He catches balls out of the backfield as well. He catches screens. And he is definitely their workhorse as a runner. Rush for over 1,400 yards last season. Second down at five. Off the fake to Ingram. Ball comes loose after the reception by Josh Hill. That's a defense that is very aggressive, makes a ton of plays. Um, they're undefeated at home. You know, you, you watch the way they play at home, especially um, in that environment and crowd noise and... Um, you know, they're playing with a ton of confidence right now, and they're such a, they're such a well-coached defense. Drew Brees and the Saints will start in Bills territory from the Buffalo 48. That's my two. Ingram in the backfield along with the fullbacks at line. This is Ingram. So hard to pick him down, Rondé. <laughs> it's still going. 
Welcome to the 41. Gate of seven. How would you attempt to bring down a guy such as Mark Ingram? I'm hitting him in the legs. <laughs> you try to tackle a guy like this up top, and he just drives through. Just see how strong his legs are, how balanced he is as a just as a person. Who are some of the toughest backs to tackle for you? He was tough. Brandon Jacobs. Guys you can't get around. <laughs> the bus. Who look for little guys to run over. Second down, three. Malone Hubbard comes up to make the tackle. So the Saints now facing third down and three. Continued balance of the Saints offense. And you know, I, when I was making notes and getting ready for this week, I was like, it's the first time that I've studied them where you actually see commitment to run two plays in a row. Two, three, sometimes four runs. I just never expected that out of his Drew Brees and Sean Payton offense, but it's exactly what you're getting and getting them ahead of the sticks. Third three here. Kamara checks in. Saints must get to the 38 for a first down. And a flag comes in as the catch is made at the 35-yard line by Ted Ginn Jr. That's going to be offensive pass interference on Ted Ginn, I think. Pass interference. Offense number 19. 10-yard penalty. Third down. You know, as a defender, Kenny, you have the right to hold your position. And watch Ted Ginn when he gets to the top. He just runs right through Sharice Wright. Flag came in right away. Easy call. Third 13. First Saints penalty of the game. Saints must get to the 38 yard line for a first down. Breeze steps up. Hump fake. Now he throws, and it's caught for a first down and more as Brandon Coleman is finally tackled at the 21-yard line by Sharice Wright. Needed 13, and he gained 30. Well, Drew Brees just calm in the pocket. No pressure on him. You know, they said they got to get there with a the four-man rush. They're not even getting close to him on a four-man rush. And how about Brandon Coleman, the guy that probably don't know about him unless you're a New Orleans Saints fan, but he's got six plays, now seven plays over 20 yards for this offense and just another complimentary part to this explosive team. Injured Buffalo Bill is Sharice Wright, who started the game for the injured E.J. Gaines. So now Wright shaking up. He was the Bill who made the tackle on Brandon Coleman. Take a look at the end here, and just you know, could be some of the turf getting in his eye. Obviously, when you get hit in the head, you have those concerns. Keep an eye on him. In the meantime, I, I, who's playing corner? Is it Leonard Johnson's probably going to have to go play that third corner? Lafayette Pitts has checked in number thirty. Yeah, you're right, because Leonard Johnson just plays the nickelback in this in this defense, so it is thirty. Lafayette Pitts. They're down to the third string, Rade in right corner. We'll see if the Saints look to take advantage. And I would. I'd put 13 over there and test them. EJ Gaines out with a hamstring injury, missing his third straight. Now Sharice Wright is off to the sideline. Back to two. Yes. It's Brandon Coleman matched up with Pitts. As they keep it on the ground with Ingram to the 16-yard line of the Bills. Just, just so much room up front. Generating enormous running lanes. Mark Ingram's averaging seven yards a carry right now, Kenny. Every time he touches the ball, he's not getting tackled until the second level of the defense. And just making it look easy to march up and down the football field. And if there's one knock against the Bills this year for me, it's that they haven't been able to stop many people. They give up too many yards on the ground, too many yards in the air, and if they don't take the football away, they don't win. Breeze pointing out Preston Brown on the Bills defense. 
catch is made at the 13-yard line by Kamara. This is the third Saints possession, Ron It's their third trip into the red zone. They have a touchdown and then the turnover on their second red zone turnover all season. Third down and one. Saints do such a great job shuffling in personnel late to try and fool the defense. Exactly. And if you're the Bills, you, you, it's hard to match up. And they, they come out and just put out their nickel defense there and say, you know, whatever comes, we're going to have to deal. The toss to Kamara on third down. Kamara has a first down and is tackled at the three by Micah Hyde. I got to tell you, this is a great job here by Billy Sneed. You'll see him. 83 right here. Watch this block he makes on Hughes here. That's the reason Kamara gets so cleanly to the edge. Takes up big yardage. Originally, I thought it was a hole, but he had great position on him. The great job down inside the five yard line. So the Saints have converted on three of four third downs today. Both Ingram and Kamara on the field. Kamara slot to the left. First and goal from the three. Breeze rolling to his right, and then he throws it away. Did not find an open receiver. Good was under pressure from Eddie Yarbrough. Yeah, good coverage on the back end. He was looking for an option route to Kamara out the other side, and then just buys enough time, nowhere for him to go with this football. And Drew Breeze is smart enough to know not to force it down here. You want to retain possession. There's no problem getting out of pocket, throwing this thing away. Fight, live the fight another day. Now second and goal from the Buffalo three-yard line. Ingram in the backfield. Thomas slot to the left. On second down. It's Ingram. He's in. His second touchdown today. We just had emphasis on committing to the run, you know, for a long time, and uh, we've been been to it uh, offensively, coaches as a scheme, players buying into the scheme, and um, the receivers, tight ends, fullback, all the O-line, they're giving us some good seams to run through, and we're just trying to make it happen. you got to get underneath them. You have to be lower than Mark Ingram. He's just going to run right through you. Again, the gap is there. He only needs to make one guy miss. That one guy he runs through, second touchdown of the day for Mark Ingram. They'll start from their 17-yard line. Taylor looking to throw on first down. Over the middle, complete to the 22-yard line. As we head down to Christina. Hey, Kenny. Well, A.J. Klein remains back in the locker room, came off the field, and immediately went back. He is suffering from an ankle injury. He's official, officially questionable to return. Manti Teo, as you guys mentioned, on the field. Craig Robertson wearing the communication device. All right, thanks, Christina. Patrick DeMarco gained five on first down. And now it's the Sean McCoy ball comes out. And it's recovered by the left tackle, Deion Dawkins. I wasn't sure if that ball was out before he hit the ground, but and Deion Dawkins, a rookie. I think that ball's out on the ground. He was down. I agree. How about Deion Dawkins? Not only does he not try to fall on it, he picks it, he plucks it with his hands and tries to advance it. Confidence. Rookie out of Temple, second round pick. He's played about 50% of the snaps yeah. for the Bills this season. They've had some issues on the offensive line as well, much like the Saints. So having to put some young players in that position. Third down and one as Taylor pulls it in. He throws. And Charles Clay. Picks up a first down for the Bills. His first reception in his return after missing the last three games. And good play call. You're going to see Clay go back across the formation here. Good job by Tyrod Taylor being able to contort his body a little bit, get around this defender and make this throw to pick up that first down. Vaughn Bell on the tackle there again, playing for Kenny Vaccaro mainly in that strong safety role down there to line of scrimmage. Your two players to watch prior to the game. Charles Clay and Von Bell. It works sometimes, Kenny. Now Taylor, loads of time on first down. It's McCoy, but he's bet immediately by Craig Robertson as Taylor could not find a receiver downfield. It's McCoy who gains just one. 
Tyrod Taylor comes out of this play action. He's looking for Kelvin Benjamin. I think he's looking for the football there. Coverage was right, and then Tyrod Taylor has to get the ball out quickly to his check down back. LaShawn McCoy picks up no yards. Good job by Craig Robertson on that tackle. And you saw the arm in the hand of Okafor once again. He's already gotten his hand on two Taylor passes today, nearly a third. Now Taylor in trouble. He escapes. And he's out of bounds at the 38 yard line. The challenge every time you play Tyrod Taylor is keeping him in the pocket. And they bring pressure. This is a blitz off the edge. You see Cam Jordan crash down. P.J. Williams has got to stay outside, contain Tyrod Taylor. He's got great athleticism, great movement out of the pocket. Picks up some nice yarders on that scramble play. Eight of seven, setting up a third down and two. Six minutes remaining, second quarter. Taylor sets, and now he throws. It's Deontay Thompson, incomplete. Nearly able to come up with it, and then it was knocked away by P.J. Williams. They're at Orchard Park, Drew Brees and the Saints with a 14-3 lead. Mark Ingram with both New Orleans touchdowns. Wide open, it's Thomas. Michael Thomas picks up the Saints first down for the 42, a 22-yard completion. Now they're giving up a lot of room. For Davius White, expecting Michael Thomas, just his own coverage. Nobody underneath. You see those linebackers rallying late, and Drew Brees will test you now. He'll just wait, 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 make you be patient, and if you give him any opening behind you, he's going to throw it in there. Big completions for Drew Brees. Ten completions for Brees, Ronde. Five of the ten have gone to Thomas. Stands in the pocket, out of the outside, and take it out to the 46-yard line by Paul Matawanui. Michael Thomas catches a lot of footballs. <laughs> he's got at least three in how many straight games? You mentioned he's a favorite target. I mean, 23 straight games. Yeah, 23 straight games now. He's got huge hands, huge catch radius. A talented young player. His uncle caught a lot of balls. Your teammate, Keyshawn Johnson. Second down and six. It's Thomas again. Nice move, and he picks up the first down and fills territory. You know, one of the things, one of the challenges when you play this offense is, is if you give him the a, a ability to throw a quick pass, he's just going to take it. You know, I, I, we always used to play the Saints and Drew Brees, and you know that you have to take away the, the quick passes. As, as much as you feel like they're trying to push the ball down the field and take shots at you, what they really want to do is get the ball out of his hands, get it into his playmakers, and let them do the work. And Michael Thomas, Thomas is doing that very well today. First and 10 from the Bills, 44. It's Ingram. Well, Rhonda, you mentioned playing against Drew Brees and the Saints. Back in the day, you are one of seven players who intercepted Drew Brees three times. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, I love it. Before Drew Brees got there, my college teammate, Aaron Brooks, was the Saints quarterback. I picked him off three times, twice. Sorry, Aaron, I had to say that. Back Nine here. interceptions for Rodney Barber against the New Orleans Saints. As if they didn't have a reason to hate me already. Thanks, Kenny. Second down and eight. This is Kamara. Kamara down at the 38 yard line of the Bills. I'll tell you what, Drew Brees is finding a way to throw this ball. I mean, he could throw it traditionally, yeah, but throw that thing underneath a jumping defender. I mean, that's awesome. Big third down here for the Buffalo Bills defense. Again, they continue to march up and down the field on this unit. They need a stop. Saints go down and score here, Kenny. I just don't think that the Bills offense has enough to get back in this football game. Huge third and five here. And the Saints will get the ball first following halftime. Saints are three for four on third down today. As Breeze throws, it's Thomas makes the catch, hurdles a defender, 
That is finally brought down at the 10 yard line by Jordan Poyer. 28 yards on that catch and run. Seven receptions, 91 yards for Michael Thomas. Off the fake to Ingram. Breeze swings it out, but it was behind Brandon Coleman. Trying to get play pass and draw up the underneath defense here. And this is the end of the play. Drew Brees is looking for Michael Thomas, but he sees they're not buying just a miscommunication. Really, Brandon Coleman should have been sitting down there in the flat because he's the check down option for Drew Brees. And acknowledge their off the same pages. Eighth play of the drive for the Saints. Second and goal from the Bills' 10. This is command. And he will go nowhere. Big hit, Lorenzo Alexander. Lorenzo Alexander never leaves the football field. 12 and a half sacks last year. Changes defense to a 4-3, so he's not rushing the quarterback anymore like he was. He's a stand-up stack linebacker, flying around, big play. Timeout is taken by the Bills. Two tours in Vietnam, Kenny. Much appreciation for the Vets. Absolutely. I'm sure he's enjoyed the first half. There's Kamara. And he is down at the four yard line. Bills use their second timeout. And this is a big screen team, and the Bills know it. You know, you asked Sean McDermott how you handle the screens of the New Orleans Saints, and he said, well, it's really in the job description of the defensive line. So they've been coaching them up all week long to turn and rally and make tackles from behind. Exactly what you saw there. Good job by this Bills defense holding this Saints offense to a field goal opportunity here. I thought it was absolutely necessary that they keep them out of the end zone. Four possessions for the Saints, four trips into the red zone. Turned it over once, a couple of touchdowns, and now a field goal attempt for Will Lutz from 23 yards out. Chip shot from the left hash. Lutz from 23 to extend the Saints lead. It is now 17 3. New Orleans. Saints must get to the 35 for a first down. Reeves swings it out. It's Kamara. And again, you get the ball into the hands of Kamara, and then he makes something happen. He picks up the Saints' first down. Well, you know that they're coming, the screens. It's, 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 it's such a staple of this offense. And I'm not going to put any fault, but watch Kyle Williams, your defensive tackle. Told you the defensive linemen have to be responsible, and he's just not quick enough to get out there. Mara takes a shot here at the end of this play, but it's right back up. Big hit from Lorenzo Alexander. Kamara gained 12. Saints now five for seven on third down. As Breeze fires it. Again behind Brandon Coleman. As we head downstairs and check in with Christina Pink. Christina. Hey, Kenny, well, the Bills haven't gotten anything going offensively outside of that first drive. Sean McDermott told me at halftime, we have to establish the line of scrimmage. That is our number one issue on both sides of the ball. Obviously, Mark Ingram's having a day with 68 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Talking to Sean Payton said we had some good runs, but we really adjusted to some defensive packages we hadn't seen from the Bills in earlier weeks. We had great blocking up front, but we got to keep the momentum going here with the first possession in this half. All right, thanks, Christina. On second and ten, Breeze to Kamara. There is a flag. Kamara into Bills territory for Saints. First down to the Buffalo 43-yard line, a gain of 15, but we'll check with Terry McCauley, which to be against the Saints. Pass interference, offense number 84. Ten-yard penalty, second down. Oh, Manuanui. Really intricate play design right in the screen a run a, a ghost reverse blocking down the field there's who man with the pass interference the shame it's away from the football play but it's the right call that's the second Saints penalty only two and they've both been for offensive pass interference that's right that's right 
John Payton checking out that play chart. By the way, this is the first time he's ever coaching against another head coach named Sean. How about that? Two shots in this. How many Sean head coaches in the NFL? Well, he'll, he'll face Sean McVay in two weeks. <laughs> Sean against Sean. Payton with a 17-3 lead. A couple of flags are thrown as Ted Ginn Jr. is down at the 30-yard line. Offside, Offside, defense number 50. Five-yard penalty, second down. Ramon Umbra's second penalty today. Second offsides, too, Kenny. And last thing you want to do is give this offense another shot at you on third down. And they're going to try to run screens from third and long situations. But at third and 14, I mean, Drew Brees can hey, put go, stress on go. you. Pushing it down the football field. Oh, Michael Thomas. He's been the go-to guy all day today. On your screen. Second down and 15. As Breeze throws, it's Thomas. What a catch. His eighth of the day. Another Saints first down. He went up and made some great catches today. Um, a couple on third down, one in a second really long situation. Um, he's a guy I have a ton of trust and confidence in, and he loves to be put in those type of positions, you know, where he has the chance to just jump up and make a play. That's that's Mike Thomas. Contested catch here. First down, Saints. Thomas over 100 yards. Eight receptions for 112. Like five, seven. Run. Mark Ingram. Ingram up the middle. The Bills 39, a gain of three. You know those penalties, the, the offsides there by Ramon Humber. And sometimes you, you'll watch a game and you'll wonder what happened. And this this was, they were sloppy, right? The Saints to start this second half. You had the penalty, or way behind the sticks. Give the Saints an opportunity. Another opportunity on third down, they convert. Now all of a sudden, you're inside the opponent's 50 yard line, you're going in to score. Gonna have to get a stop here through the Bills defense, making it look easy on the Saints. On second and eight, it's Ingram again, and he has a first down and more. Mark Ingram to the Bills, 24. I have not seen the New Orleans Saints watch these blocks here. I've not seen the New Orleans Saints run with so many two back sets. Zach Line, the fullback, has become a major factor in this running offense. So another first down for the Saints. Down to Christina. Hey, Kenny, yes, Jerry Hughes has not been out there for this series. He is dealing with an injury to his shin. It happened just before the half. He is on the bench right now trying to work it out and stay loose. I'll keep you updated, but he is questionable to return. All right, thanks, Christina. Replaced by Eddie Yarbrough. On the toss, it's Kamara. Kamara inside the 10. Out of bounds at the Buffalo 5. Finally forced out by Micah Hyde. 19 yards for Alvin Kamara. Watch Ryan Ramchek get out in front of Alvin Kamara here. He's a tackle as Warford. Ramchek's on the outside. Kamara just has so much room to run here. There's that block on the edge. Again, making it look easy on this Bills defense running the football. 127 yards already on the ground for the Saints. Four yards for the Bills have an offense all game. First and goal from the five on the toss. It's Kamara, and he is in for a touchdown. Came out and we wanted to impose our will. You know, when we came out, we was in the locker room. We said we gotta, we gotta put put the uh, pressure on them, yep. right the neck. Yep. So coming out, being able to get those run looks and, and get some good hits. Mark had some hits. I had some hits. I mean, that's credit to the whole line. Right, look, it, this is a tough situation for Shaq Lawson. And the offense has been flying ever since. Six straight wins, and now it's McCoy, and he is. Hit for a loss, Sheldon Rankins makes the play. And Sheldon Rankins just runs over the center, goes right to the backfield. Could have been a face mask, you think? Tyler Davidson? Maybe bad positioning to see that, but 
Should be 15 for the Bills. And then Rankins with the tackle, loss of two. Second down and 12. As McCoy throws wide open, first down and more. Taylor's hurt. Taylor is down. Now a second flag is thrown as Clay takes it out to the 48. And now Tyrod Taylor slowly back on his feet. He got hit after, as soon as he let go of this football. They're two fouls on the play. Holding offense number 10. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 57. Penalties offset, second down. Here's a roughing the passer, Alex Okafor, way late. That's the hit that we're just describing on Tyrod Taylor. And it is the hold. Kind of a weak hold. But it takes away a big gain for Bill's offense. I don't know how to call, I don't know how to call that one. Hold again. Uh, Deontay Thompson erases the 25-yard reception by Clay. Now Taylor, over to his right. And that throw is high. He's looking for McCoy. Nobody open, Kenny. And again, the ball just doesn't come out quickly enough. Tyrod Taylor, I mean, he's looking for underneath. Good job by Sheldon Rankins taking away the immediate throw. They only rush three, drop eight. Tyrod Taylor has nowhere to go with this football and just eventually throws it away over the head of Shady McCoy. Now third down and 12 for the Bills. Empty backfield. They must get to the 35 for a first down. And that pass is picked off. The deflection inside the five down to the three it's Sheldon Rankins one of the things we wanted to do defensively is is try to contain uh, Tyrod he's, he's an exceptional quarterback when he's outside the pocket and I thought we did a pretty good job for the most part of keeping him um, you know at that launch point um, but I'm sure when well we have a chance to look at the tape We'll look specifically at the tackles, and I thought it was a uh, real good effort defensively. We did a lot of things well. Sheldon Rankins in his second season out of Louisville. His first NFL pick. Talk about the Saints defense and where they got better. Consistency, when you ask Dennis Allen, when you ask the head coach, Sean Payton, not beating themselves. And communication. All those things have been on display here today. You lose A.J. Klein, communication doesn't change. They're playing fast. They're getting after Tyrod Taylor. This offense looks almost inept against this much improved Saints defense. First and goal from the Bills three. Following the interception, it's Ingram. There's a flag as Ingram takes it in for his third touchdown today. hands to the face. Defense number 21. Phillies decline. Touchdown. Career high third touchdown of the game for Mark Ingram. And this is just a force of will here by Mark Ingram. Get hit. And he's just running through people. Micah Hyde, no chance to stop him once he gets through the offensive line. And Start from their six-yard line. It's Ingram on first down, and Ingram is out to the 17-yard line. Gain of 11, enter New Orleans first. And again, that ghost motion out of the backfield. You'll see Ted Ginn run behind and just watch his jump cut. Get lateral to get vertical. Great run. Been doing it all day. Seen it all day. Great blocking up front in that gap scheme. Mark Ingram has something going on in his side, Kenny. I saw him when he was laying on the ground. Messing with it. Holding that left side. It's his third hundred yard rushing game this year. He's at 105. So the Saints have a hundred yard rusher and receiver today with Ingram and Thomas. Kamara replaces Ingram. First and ten from the 17. Sneed shifts to the right side. Here's Kamara up the middle. Another nice run. 
Kamara did pick up the first down. Now it's the fullback, Zach Line, his third carry of the season. He wants to join the party. They're finding it pretty easy to run through this Bills defensive front. I mean, just, you, know, you question, they trade away Marcel Darius. They haven't gotten better up front because of the trade. You just wonder what what's this team going to be, Kenny? They're five and three on the season. I thought this was going to have to be a must win because the road ahead is so tough for them. But they're just not offering much resistance to the Saints run game today. They gave up 34 to the Jets their last game. 30 to the Saints so far today. Ingram back on the field, stayed on his feet. And has another Saints first down out to the 45. Just got to wrap up. Sharice Ray. That's not how you do it. Especially as a DB, I used to always go in. You're going to hit him low, hit him low, but wrap up, come up with a body part. Just throwing your shoulder into a guy who's built like Mark Ingham is just not going to work. Saints down with 174 yards on the ground. How much is that is after contact? I mean, Mitchell put that stat up earlier. I think it was 44 yards of the seven first 75. Oh, it's only gotten worse oh, since this game has gone on. Now it's Kamara found a big hole. You've got to be committed to it. You know, you've got to be in games, right? You know, I mean, and 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 then you've got to be efficient with it. You know, offensive line has to be you know, doing their job and doing a great job, and they, and they have, you know. So, you know, all those things would equate to, you know, maybe the number of runs that uh, that we're calling. And, and again, it's it's there's a balance there, you know. But when, when you're able to get a lead in games and you're able to run the ball effectively, um, I mean, why wouldn't you just keep calling a bunch of runs, you know? It's a player up in there where you feel like the easiest thing to do is from an offensive perspective is turn around, hand the ball off, and you can't stop him. That's exactly what's going on here. This is a pretty good run here by Alvin Kamara. Watch, he'll go down. Nobody touches him until quickly he gets back up off the ground and picks up an additional six, seven yards. The guy's an exciting player, Kenny. He sure is. On those six plays, Ron, they had this drive. They picked up the first down on five of the six. Talk about rhythm and offense. That's what it is. Camaro again. Another first down. Six first downs the last seven plays as we head down to Christina. Well, Kenny, talk about all the moving parts on this offensive line. The Saints, during the week, will often practice guys along the line at different positions. They've obviously had to utilize guys in different spots this season. They do it in team drills, individual drills, so that they can get the footwork, the angles, and the hand usage down. It's certainly something that's led to success despite some of the injuries this year. That's exactly it. Christy, that's a great point. You know, Andrews Pete has played guard and tackle. Ramchek was playing left tackle to start the year. We already mentioned Sidney Calamente earlier. How the Pete role he's had to play. Being able to cross train on the front, and having guys versatile enough to do that is an asset because injuries are inevitably, inevitably going to happen. They've been able to weather the injury storm because of some of these guys up front and their ability to play multiple spots. They are, it is a force of will. Today, though, I mean, this, look at this. Look at this play selection on this drive. You don't have to get to your kick set. You don't have to do anything. Put your hands on the guy in front of you and push him out of the way and let your Yo, runner dominate, in, which is exactly what's happening today. In the Peyton Breeze era, how many times do you think they've had a drive like this? All runs. I Another can't think first of down, Rondé for Kamara, and he's hit a season high. Rookie out of Tennessee. Previous high was 75 yards in one game. He's now up to 95. You got both runners in the game now, Kamara and Mark Ingram. And I've seen this on a number of occasions, getting with this offense. And just, I remember when playing. Deuce McAllister, and they had those other guys, Reggie Bush, all those guys. They put two running backs on the field. It's tough. 
to deal with as an off as a defense. Breeze looking to throw. He's gonna run. <laughs> Why not? He's in. Touchdown. As I kind of made my way out to the to the left, uh, I felt Tehran, who had been blocking his guy, and then he's running with me. And there's always that fine line of don't want to be downfield, right? So I'm going to kind of stay with my quarterback. And and then I felt him just go um, at uh, I think one of the linebackers who was starting to kind of feel like maybe I was going to be a run threat. And I just felt like he just kind of leveled him, and I thought, well, okay, well now it's time to run. <laughs> so I uh, was able to sneak in. Plus. I felt like I owed that to the running back since they did all the work to, you know, run the ball down there that, that we needed another rushing touchdown. No Rondes. No, definitely no Rondes. New quarterback in the game, Kenny. There is a Nathan at quarterback for the Bills, Nathan Peterman. And his first pass leads to an ovation as the catch is made by Deontay Thompson. And that's the first first down of the second half. Rondé for the Buffalo Bills. Nathan Peterman, rookie out of Pitt. Fifth round draft pick. Well, the one thing you know about him is that he throws with a lot of anticipation. He's not physically gifted, but he does have nice timing in his rhythm. We saw it in the preseason this year. <laughs> These Bill fans haven't seen anything on offense today. They're going to react to every single completion. Patrick DeMarco. Tyrod Taylor had a tough day today, Kenny. He was didn't throw for 60 yards. I mean, that's that's tough to do, especially with some of the weapons that he had returning and it's tight end Clay and then the expected piece of Kelvin Benjamin, what it would add to the passing offense. It added nothing. It didn't open up the run game. Unable to get him the ball down the field. He was not a threat. That pass intended for Kelvin Benjamin. Monte Harris got a piece of it. Monte Harris getting some snaps in a corner now late in this football game. Great break here. You see him at the line of scrimmage just reading the quarterback's eyes. Good opportunity. Really hit Kelvin in the hands. He could have caught it. Who did Nathan Peterman model his game after? Throughout his career to this point? Drew Brees. Yeah. Fourth down and one for Peterman and the Bills. Low snap on the toss. It is DeMarco, and he will not get there. Saints defense has been outstanding. Once again, led by Alex Okafor. First time in Saints franchise history, Rondé. 200-yard rushers and a 100-yard receiver. Last team to do it in the NFL, the Bills against Miami back in 2015 with LaShawn McCoy, Carlos Williams, and Sammy Watkins. Chase Daniel now in at quarterback for the Saints. Been quite a day for Mark Ingram, hasn't it, Kenny? Running through, around, and into the end zone. Many times today, frequent occasions, he's been the powerhouse of this unit. A lot of talk about Alvin Kamara. The Mark Ingram is the heart of this running offense. He put it on full display today. 131 and a franchise record tying three rushing touchdowns for Ingram. 107 and a touchdown for Kamara. Drew Brees with a rushing touchdown as Daniel hands it off and Edmonds will take it all the way. Trey Edmonds. His first NFL score and a record sixth rushing touchdown for the New Orleans Saints. Everybody got um, their opportunities today and, and really did a phenomenal job with it. But Mark, Alvin, um, and then Trey there at the end, getting that long run to, I guess, break a Saints record, right? Most rushing touchdowns in the game, which uh, yeah, just a phenomenal way to cap off the game. See, great blocking up front. Two DBs getting each other's way, and it's an easy jaunt to the end zone. 
for Trey Edmonds. Trey Edmonds, the rookie out of Maryland. We talk to coaches all the time, and not all of them pass along accurate numbers as far as stats and information, historical references, but Sean Payton is always right on it. He's all over it. He can't help himself. And I know he has a big staff that work, does a lot of work. And Christina alluded to it earlier. He gave his Personal team. foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 25. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's on Raphael Bush. Sean Payton gave his team a history lesson on the city of Buffalo, the stadium. Many of his players had never been here. There was some concern about the weather, although it's not too bad. Temperatures in the 40s today. And the Saints with no issues at all. None whatsoever. I, I like the way Sean approaches his young team. Nice ball there by Peterman to Kelvin Benjamin. And that's the first pass all day, Kenny, that I've seen travel in the air for Buffalo more than 10 yards. This is how you do it. Hit your back foot, find your, go through your reads, find your receiver, and put it on him right away. Big game. That was a 21-yard reception by Benjamin. Here's Benjamin again. You're right, the previous long was a 10-yard reception by Deontay Thompson today. Well, I don't know about you, Kenny, and neither one of us are coordinators or play callers of any regard. But Far from it. I'm getting the ball to Kelvin Benjamin as much as possible. You go out and get this guy for a reason. Give him chances. And I think going forward, you'll see him get more involved in this passing offense because they're going to play some teams who showed their schedule. You're going to have to push the ball down the fo football field. It can't be an entirely running offense with Shady McCoy. There's good coverage on the back end by Ken Crawley. Ken Crawley, when you talk to these coaches, is a guy that came in after being a healthy scratch for two weeks to start the season and has really solidified the back end of this defense. You know, you got two young quarters, Marshawn Lattimore on the other side, Ken Crawley on this side. you got some good safeties, and there's no wonder this defense is playing so much better the past couple weeks. Jordan Matthews, his first reception. Talk about Crawley. Who that nation? Here at Orchard Park, they travel well. As Peterman throws, touchdown, Nick O'Leary. Good drive by Peterman. A couple of timely completions to Kelvin Benjamin. And if your Bills fan's still in the building, you got something to cheer about. Good timing on this throw. Nick O'Lear right there in the slot number 84. Just coming across the formation. Front zone defense is good patience by Peterman. Waiting for him to clear. Buys a little bit of time. Delivers a strike. The Orleans Saints will become the second team in the Super Bowl era to start 0-2 and then win their next seven. You know, when you walk away, from a victory like today, where you know, it's a very tough environment to play against a very good team, um, to win the way that we did, you know, certainly gives us a ton of confidence moving forward. Bills, second straight defeat overall on Veterans Day weekend. Saints go to seven and two.